got the sign. It's okay. I'm tripping. <laughs> Come on, man. No trip, no trip, no trip. You gotta put them, put them planks out there. Why it seem like it's so zoomed in? I know that dude eat bacon shrimp or something else. <laughs> you see it written out, it's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Do that nigga eat pork. We don't? Okay, hell yeah. Uh, you know, want to pan around real quick? Yep. You know? Yep, yep. We get, able to get a good shot of this. No, no, who, who ain't there? Liam here, parts is a ghost town. Right, I asked you, TK ain't there. They say, they say this, is, this is UPK block. UPK corner. They ain't there, bro. The sheep need to get fed. Where you at? The sheep need to get fed. It's bro. a little cold, so the sheep gotta die. All right. Let them tell it. Uh, yeah, if it was up to y'all, man, the sheep would be dead. Sheep be dead, man. Sheep be dead, dead. Everybody yeah, scoot in. All right, all right, shalom. shalom. We need to realize coming week in and week out, the prophets are the downfall of America, Babylon, and great. Tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're the biblical Israelites, and it's time for you to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, um, Romans 13 and 11, 2nd Ezra 6, verse 9, right? And uh, we are we are, we are here to uplift, right? As you're seeing the what? The arise of Yasha Allah, man, or the arise of Israel. See, form Yasha Allah, meaning what? Arise Israel. So we're telling you Israelites, it's time for you to arise. Right, and we're going in. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the whole we let. All right, so we out here for, you know, to preach, prophesy, okay, and to uplift our people, man, with this word, man. That's how it's going, that's how it's going out. This word is going out. That's what's uplifting our people. That's what's uh, having our people turn back to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. The word of the Holy One, man. This how, hey, this how we being gathered. What's that? That's, that's oh, the root. This how we being uh, gathered. Uh, I think it's book five. But I, I'll, I'll read this. Okay, this is the Baruch, book of Baruch, five verse five. It says, "Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand high, and look about toward the east, and behold, thy children." Gather from the west and to the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. You see, and, and what did the Lord do? He, stored, he stirred up our minds in a pure way of remembrance, man. So we are rejoicing and remembering Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, man. Of how much great mercy and compassion He has given unto us, man. And as, as what? You know, as you know, the Lord, you know, the Lord is long suffering, man. See, so we're seeing the mercy, we're seeing the compassion that he has given to us. Hey, he has given the, the, the name back to us, man. You see, so he has stirred up our mind, our pure minds by the way of remembrance. I will get that real quick, real quick. Now, it's the book of Jude. The book of Jude. The book of Jude, one verse. Um... Five, it says, I will therefore put in your put in remembrance, though ye once knew this, meaning what? Being real reawakened. Because we once knew this word. Right? It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. And have reserved them in everlasting chains of darkness. What are those? Ever, what are those everlasting chains of darkness? Are these bodies that we're in, man? You see? It's, are these? Are the bodies, man? Okay. And now what? We are being reawakened and going back into the book of the roof, right? You did? It says, uh, we're rejoicing in the remembrance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Okay. 
Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yep, now our salvation is nearer than we believe. You see all these chariot sightings, man? You see these chariot sightings got Esau shook, man. They got the whole world shook. You see? And, and a lot of people, you know, you got a lot of ignorant people that say, you know what, those are aliens, right? You know, uh, those are aliens trying to come take over the world. You know, they're trying to come destroy our planet. You know, all, all these different speculations that they have, right? They call them UFOs because they're un, un, uh, unidentified objects to them. But to us, bro, those are the chariots of salvation, bro. Those are the chariots of the Lord. You see? And it, the, the scripture tells us to look up, man. To look up. Because our salvation draws high, man. And, it, and it's going to... Because it's going to happen by the way of what? To be the chariots, man. That's how, that's how we're going to get saved. Because we're going to get beamed up into those chariots. And also those chariots... That's right. That's how the Lord is going to gather us, man. Okay? Uh, that's the book of Isaiah 31. 31. Yep. Isaiah 31 verse 5 it says, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it, deliver it, and pass him over, he will preserve it. You see? What are those birds flying? Man, those are the chariots of the Lord, man. Yeah, hey, when it talks about those birds flying, it means like, when you, you see some uh, uh, so-called UFO sightings with the chariots, they're flying in formation, you know, or they're, they're flying in like a V or in like a triangle. Like you see, uh, you know, different birds and, and ducks, you know, flying that formation. Yeah, but I got a, a scripture back in the bro up. This is Matthew chapter 24, mm -hmm. at verse 30. And this is Yahweh Shai saying this. It says, I, I start at verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So when he talks about those clouds, they're talking about these so-called UFOs, you see. Uh, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Right? So... The elect are going to be gathered up via via those uh, so-called UFO, the chariots of the Most High. Okay, got precept. Wisdom of Solomon 5, I guess I'll start at verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. The Edomites. And you are two-thirds of Jake, man. Pretty much the whole world. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. And they call them UFOs because they strange to them. They unidentified. What is that? What are those? Mm -hmm. Like the brother, uh, like the like the elder, uh, 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 who was that? Uh, Yasha Wamba had posted. What are those? I believe it, or it may have been a repost. But it was a chariots in the sky, man. And it was like, what are those? It was chariots, you know? So this it's a strangeness of our salvation, okay? And if we be those men, Lord willing we do. And they, repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach. Okay? And we are made a spectacle, okay? Unto angels and unto men, you know? And uh, so, yeah, man, we, we are a proverb and a reproach to these people. But we're going to be saved by those chariots if we endure to the end, if it was written in our story, to be as such. Okay. I got a precept of 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16 it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead and the Mashiach shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words hey comfort one another with these words man so it's, hey, it's going to be comforting, man. These different UFOs and, and chariots that are, that are around, man, that's that's part of our salvation, man. That's the vehicle of our salvation. Right, right. And we're comforted now.
knowing that we have a hope of salvation mm -hmm. from this place, man. Mm -hmm. Comfort each other with these words that's in this present time, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, man, if we look at it, and we look at it carnally, ain't no way to win. Through. We through. <laughs> we know we can do against Esau's uh, military power and his technology, his sword that he was given. You got to remember, he was given that up the most high, man. Okay, by thy sword shalt thou live. Okay, he, uh, what does it say? The smith that blew up the coal. Mm -hmm. Who created that smith, man, and gave him that knowledge, man? Right. You know? So, so really, you find yourself to be fighting against the most high, because right now he ordained Esau to do what he's doing. Exactly, right. right. And then that's the same as how he was fighting against Jeremiah, or uh, 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 with the war wanted to come to pass and happen to us with us being carried away from Jerusalem. Because basically, basically, Jeremiah was letting know how you fight in a losing battle. Yeah. I mean, you're going to you're gonna fall regardless. And, it, and, it, and I did buck it up in your battle in the same way as you just said, right? Right. Revelation 13, Revelation 18, verse 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Right, so come out of her, people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Right, the Lord's going to destroy this place, and that, that that's us going into the chariots, man. Right? Uh, 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 received out of a plague, one of the plagues is, is what? The, these nuclear missiles. That's the ultimate place yeah. to, to destroy this entire place. Right? Because, yeah. right. hey, what you see happening is the Lord the Lord is, is, is raising our people up, man. Okay? He's raising up the elect. You know, he's raising up, you know, uh, the helps also who's going who's gonna to help with the ministry. Right? He's raising this up to, to, to uh, Basically, to, to, to overtake Esau, man. Right? So, this, us, Esau is going down and we're coming up, man. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Precept, Revelation 15, and uh, verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. <laughs> and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the hearts of the Most High. So that's the elect, man, getting, getting beamed up as that nuclear uh, destruction is happening down on the planet Earth, man. You know? And that sea of glass mingled with fire, we're gonna, it's like through the firmament, you're going to see the flames, mm -hmm. you know, licking at the bottom of, uh, as they being elevated, you know? They're going to be giving praises unto Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Yeah, the, hey, man, that's, that's, that's going to all happen at the blink of an eye, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be quick, right? right? Just as the scriptures say, um, in a moment, in a twinkling of eye, you shall all be changed, man. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be quick. That's right. right. Right in the nick of time. Right. Yeah, because the scriptures also say... Um, what do you say? Uh, he should basically, basically Babylon should be destroyed within one hour. Mm -hmm. Yep. You see? Within one hour, so that place be destroyed. <laughs> so all this time that you took to build it up, <laughs> hey, but didn't the Lord say? Did not the Lord says you shall build up, but I shall throw oh, down? Now. That's right. <laughs> yep. She called him the border of wickedness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, this is a beautiful story, man. And 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 the crazy thing about the story is we know it. You see, we know it. It's a beautiful. You know, a beautiful, and or, or like the movie, right? The director, you know, because you know the director gets different people the scripts, right? Well, we got the scripts already. We already know what we already know what, what when this character is gonna die, or you know, no, you know what I'm saying? Just using that analogy, we know when this character is gonna die. We know when this character is gonna do this. You know, we gonna know different causes and effects of these different things. We have the scriptures. Now. We know the plot points. We, uh, right. we know the plot points. We know how he gonna die, mm -hmm. and we know what time we living in based off of what part in the story that's already written that we are witnessing. Right. Okay, right. well, we see this being, so we almost at this portion of the story. Mm -hmm. We almost at the climax, the mark of the beast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, really, that ain't the climax. But so either way, we almost at that part, and we can tell by reading that we got the plot right here, man. Yeah, man. We got the plot right here in these scriptures, man. Yeah, like, you know, uh, when you, you know, when you're in uh, an English class and they talk about narratives and stories, man, they have that little plot map where you, got, where you come across and then you go up. And you come back down and you yeah. go back across like a mountain. Yeah, the climax. Right. Yeah. We're we're on that we're on that steep part of the mountain. We're yeah. approaching that. Yeah. Right. We're approaching that point. Yeah. Right. That point where this place gets destroyed. East, uh, uh, Esau gets destroyed. Right. And then uh, Israel is made a praise in the earth. Mm. See, and when you really think about it, man, that climax gonna last for a long time until after the thousand years, and then it's gonna start calming down. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we, we're getting up to that point where Esau going to be taken out of power. Then we got to gather him up. The wicked two thirds got to perish. Actually, that's going to be that's going to be the part that's going to be the part coming out. And that's going to wrap everything up. Esau getting his punishment. But see, he still got to be destroyed after a thousand years. Yeah, you wrapping it up after a thousand. Years. After the th that's and what then, I said. The climax is going to last until a thousand years is over, and then it's going to start coming. After we finally wiped that devil off the planet Earth, and we done putting them in captivity and whipping them and killing them, and then he gonna die off, and then the rest of the nation's gonna be done whipped into submission, and everything gonna be peaceful, long as they do right. See? So that's when things is kind of going down. But for a minute, we're gonna be putting our foot in his ass for a long time. It's go, you think you think that's gonna be anticlimactic? No, we're gonna have fun all a thousand years putting our foot up your ass. All a thousand years, I'm having fun. I don't know about you. <laughs> but hey, man, the climax is the, is the great day of the Lord, man. God. When the Lord puts that judgment out. Right. But, um, yeah, I got one real quick before you get that. Um, there be uh, Ecclesiastes gets 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy over his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. That's beautiful, man. Right. Right. The Lord's gonna grant. <laughs> the Lord's gonna grant uh, the elect that that privilege, man, mm -hmm. to see the fall of His enemies. Right now, I got grant. Well, I know you was going through it. Yep. This honor, have all this. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's one of my favorite scriptures. Spirit. Yeah, man. So, hey, man. It's gonna be. Hey, Lord willing, we be of those men, because like you said, what did you say about that? See, see how far your enemies counted all joy. Yep. This is uh. It says a it says a man. I'll read the A man that have joy over his chil over his children, and he that lives to see the fall of his in of his enemy. Right. What does he categorize these things as? Um, I'll read it over. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes gets 25, 25 verse seven. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart mm -hmm. to be happy. Happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. Mm -hmm. A man that have joy over his children, mm -hmm. and he that liveth the fall of his enemy. That's happy. That's going to be a happy time. Happy right. shall he be that take up thy little ones and dash them against the stone, man. Mm -hmm. Happy right. shall he be that render unto you what you've done unto us, man. Mm -hmm. hey. You know? Let me, I'm going to read this right here. This is Psalms 149. This is a short chapter, so I read the whole thing. Yeah. It says, Praise ye, Yahweh, sing unto the Lord a new song in his praise in the congregation of the saints, which are the Israelites. Let Israel, re let Israel rejoice in him that made him let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. So we're going to be singing and dancing, man. It says, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people and will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise ye Yahweh. So there you go, man. Hey, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an honor to to, uh, to to glory over your enemies, man. Right. To have to have these other nations in chains. Right. Hey. Yep. And the people that you see that's destroying the earth. They got the earth in its condition that it's in now. All those people are going in chains, man. The, the one percenters, also known as the Illuminati, the, the left-hand ones of the world, right? They all going in chains, man. You see? I got, uh, Isaiah 24, verse uh, 21, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth, man. Talking about those elites. See, the same what the brother just read about how them nobles is going to be chained up, man. Mm -hmm. See, that's where y'all belong. Anyway, y'all just, all y'all is is fugitives on the run. Yeah. Or, or, as the scripture says, y'all have been loose for the little season to deceive the world. Mm -hmm. That's it, but y'all season I almost out the door, man. Hey, that's why, because we saw knew his time, he had but a short time, man. Sure. So that's why he about to bring hell on us. What's up, bro? Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, yep. Baruch, Baruch 4, and 25. It says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly 
thou shalt see his destruction and, that, and shall tread upon his neck. Read that again, bro. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah, yeah, read, 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 read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, this is Baruch 4, verse 25. It says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his d destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. <laughs> right, man. Who, uh, hey, uh, who, who, who's our number one enemy? You know, Esau Edom, right? He's a super villain, the super villain in the story, right? And, and the rest of these nations too. But Esau, Esau got some special ass whooping coming to him, right? Hell yeah. A special hey, one. And, and, that, and that right there is a precept to go with what is said in Genesis about he shall bite thy heel and thou shalt dash his head, right? Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So that serpent seed goes all the way to Esau, man. We ain't talking about no snake hybrids, okay? We're just talking about the subtility. You know, that old dragon, okay, called the devil and Satan, which goes into Esau Edom, man. Okay? We're gonna stand on their damn necks, man. I got one I got one a point. Just because the brother mentioned how Esau Edom is that first the first one, right? This is the book of Psalms eighty three, verse two. For lo thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee lift up thy head. They that have taken fancy counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Oh, and I want to make this point. Right now, they're trying to make Jake the face of the coronavirus. Hell bro. Yeah. And we've been telling you this, that this man been a devil all along, man. Yep. So now he's going to make you the face of the coronavirus, right? And now everybody will be looking at you as the strange people of the earth, man. But first, they was looking at the gooks like that. They're looking at the gooks like that, right? But you see, hey, th those are just silly women laughing with sins, man. That's it. Because at the end of the day, hey. you, you see how most of these people, walk, you barely see people walking around, right? Mm -hmm. Most people got masks on their face. Most people got, got gloves. But this this shit is all about to come to a stop. My mom just called and said, down there, they don't got a face mask in Florida. They get a thousand dollar fine yeah. or 60 days in jail. You see? And... and, and Hey, and, we we're gonna go into that later about all, all that all this man all that joy and mirth spirit still that's left still in this crowd of people. That's all about to go. Yeah, sure, bro. yeah I was gonna say like that brother did that video man where his wife had that dream where it was that woman who was all raggedy and toe up uh, and she was clinging on to his foot and his wife's foot, basically begging to uh begging to be a, like that Isaiah four and one that you know, take away my reproach. Hey, them women man, Lord willing we make it, we're gonna see them same motherfuckers. They gonna get rejected, man. Them damn worldly ass women that's walking around and they finally careless women, they gonna fucking get rejected, man. Yep, we're gonna go after that. We're gonna yeah. laugh at your shame. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna act because, because verse 6 or verse 5 again, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are a confederate against thee. And, and Jake, you see, Jake's problem is Jake like waiting for the last minute to try to turn back to get right. You know what I'm saying? Jake like to wait for the last minute. Bro, and we've been telling you for years, our, our apostles and elders have been telling you for 30 plus years. But hey, woe unto them that laugh now, but they shall mourn and weep. You see? Because you got women already weeping because they can't eat as much as they could. They can't go outside as much as they could. A lot of them still can't get as much weed as, as whenever they want to or get their nails done. Bro, all that shit is about to really come to a stop. Like, no weed stores, nothing. All that shit's really about to come to a stop. And y'all worried about that? Bro, the food market, the food chain supply is collapsing. L literally, right now, collapsing. You see? So go ahead. I mean, hey, laugh, laugh it up. Laugh it up. You see? <laughs> while, we, while we come out here and tell you the real or the reality of what's going on, go, hey, do your thing. Do your thing. Yep. Verse 6, it says, the tabernacles of Edom. And I saw it going to go. Because the rest of them go down and talk about the rest of the heathens that all came against us. They usually go to the UN and they all have it, uh, have it, they conspire to come together to, to destroy us, man. But the first person I wanted to touch on was the tabernacle of Edom because he's the head right now. He's the head. He's the, the head devil in charge, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. HDIC. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse, I'll start at verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times, and when shall the end of the 
when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, so we're, we're witnessing a, 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 a Jacob being raised up, man. Right, starting with the, the elect uh, uh, men, women, and children of, of the nation of Israel, man. Right, with that ruling body being the 144,000. So Esau, Esau's going down, man. You, you can see his his whole, uh, uh, you know, info, his, his place is being destroyed from the inside out, man. Inside out, yep. yep. The, word, the worms are cast over the and under the roughly paraphrasing. This whole place is collapsing, man. Not just physically, but the infrastructure, the dollar, mm -hmm. you know? Sure. Everything, man. Everything about this place is crumbling, man. The mirth, you know? But really, but really, though, the boy got this double in the trip, man, because he got Esau doing this shit. He got Esau breaking down this system. See? He got es Esau about doing all this for the new world agenda. But see, because, like, brothers been saying, bro, this coronavirus, bro, this is just a mess, bro. This is just a cover up, uh -huh. you see? So they can push a higher agenda. That's all it is, man. It's to push a higher agenda. Right now, with the coronavirus, they can push in a 5G network uh, uh, system to push up. They Excuse can me. start the. Would either of you gentlemen have a dollar or some change you can spare? No, I have my number for it. No, thank you. Um, what was that saying? Uh, they pushing it, setting up their 5G network systems. You know, uh, uh, different. Uh, Billionaires or what? Uh, switching over to the uh, more uh, different new world currency that they're trying to push, mm -hmm. which is digital, which ultimately is going to lead to the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, right? Uh, martial law, and all your rights are being, have been taken away or are being taken away right now through this coronavirus situation. Everything, bro. So everything is getting put in place during this coronavirus mass cover up, right before your eyes. See? But see, you still got silly ass Jake. Silly ass Jake walking around. Hey, I, bro, you know you you a through nation, bro. When you walk around still proud, and there's a so-called pandemic going on, bro. Like literally, bro. This this is how destroyed our people's mind. This is how destroyed they are. But all those flags are coming out the window, man. I got a precept. I got a precept concerning Edom. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in Taman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Mm -hmm. Is their wisdom banished? But like the bro said, the most high got these devils in a trick bag. They tearing down their own house like a foolish woman. The scriptures say a foolish woman tear down her house with her own hands. That's what Esau's doing, man. He's tearing down his own damn kingdom with his own hands, man. You know? But he, he needs this tear down the kingdom to set his uh, market to be system infrastructure in place. Yeah. And at the same time, they're only judging our people and doing so with that. Famine, pestilence, because the coronavirus is a, is a pestilence. Cancer, all that's pestilence, because that all been going on. You know what I'm saying? So the famine, pestilence, uh, uh, the, the whole bread and circus act. You see? Hey, bro, we may never come out of this. And if we do, bro, this shit is, this shit is going to be not normal. Bro, businesses are going to be through, bro. Yeah. Everyday people lives are almost through, bro. Because then they're going to use, okay, well, in order for you to come back to work, we don't know where you've been. We don't know who you've been around. We got to take the vaccine, vaccine to get back to work. But this is how it's going to be. You got to take the vaccine to get back to work. And some people's jobs are like, well, in order for you to stay here, you got to get the vaccine. Bro. They're going to say, they're going to say, oh, remember, they're going to say, oh, remember how many people was getting sick and how rapidly coronavirus spread. We need to do away with cash. Yeah, we need to do, yeah. No more cash. We're going yeah. to change yeah. all the digital currencies. Hey, it, hey, it's all the guys to push this new world order. Yeah. Right? It said people are, are afraid of, of the coronavirus. They're staying inside. But meanwhile, while they're inside, they're building up the infrastructure for the for the market of beasts. Yeah. Right? They're building up these these 5G uh, uh, towers, okay, these cell towers to to, to, um, to have that, that fast connection, okay? Cause that's gonna that's what the, the, the chip is gonna be connected to. Right? Yeah, they already got the six G as they say and the six G in the works so they are double getting the thing set up. Right. And I saw a video where um those five G towers put up a lot of radiation, man. The dude had a one of them what I think it's called a multimeter, I can't remember what exactly what it's called. But it's a meter that detects radiation. 
and he was just riding down the street and it was lit up to the highest degree you know and so that's enough energy getting been put off to activate them chips man once they be inside of people's bodies man they're gonna keep that hey, once they set up that infrastructure they're gonna know where you at at any given time man because that that damn radiation gonna activate your chip you're gonna enter that damn grid and they're gonna know where the hell you at man that's why you see they show you in the movie people going off the grid they have to go away from society man go underground and do different things you know and then you got then you got hyperinflation going on bro yep. shit is high as hell in the stores right now yep. and it's going to continue to go up bro while people are making less money because a lot of people are unemployed so it's going to continue to go up yep. right and, and so Esau is going to try to make everybody which he is going to he's going to make everything dependent upon him which it already is in, in a way but he wants to have it 100 percent total control that's why he's telling the dairy farms just don't get milk. That's why he's telling uh, far, the, the farming to get the cattle. Uh, just, just get get rid of you, get rid of them. You see, because we shut the meat processing plant down, so you can't go to a consumer, and it's illegal to just somebody say, "Let me come to your farm and buy a cow." They set it up where well, that's illegal for real. Wow. You, you know what I'm saying? So they want they want everything uh, ran to them 100 percent, bro. Yeah. So. So, so let's use different scenarios. How are they going to use this chip easily? All you people that got food stamps that's just running around with food stamps and spending them rapid like crazy, not disciplined. Bro, you're going to have to take the chip for that. Yep. You're going to take, and they remember, remember the run they did two years ago in Atlanta? When they shipped, yep. when they shipped Atlanta? You they were they, down here for a minute too. You think they ain't, ain't going to take the chip, bro? You think? And, 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 I, and I think it's, it's a good thing that the Lord did stop ours as he did so we can know how to so we can know how to operate and be more disciplined or, or be self-sufficient you know what i'm saying because depending on stuff like that of getting how many somebody was ever getting then you know what i'm saying the venture shall fail man bro esau's going to use that against you so for people that do it are getting food stamps you better spend that shit wisely bro yeah. e e even if you said you know you might live with a, your parents or somebody and they get food stamps mom can i get you dollars? She said, yeah. Man, go get some non-perishable shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because in a minute, bro. And if you can, you know, if you got a car and you can, do the app jobs. Yeah. To be making money right now till they shut that shit down. Yeah. So all that shit's about to, all, all every, within a few months, if, if this continues, within a few months, all, everything's going to shut down. Every, yeah. Everything, bro. Because you see, fans is getting higher. Now they threaten people to go to jail. One dude, it's like, we're going to get back to the scriptures. I, I, I'm seeing videos. He saw the first smart devil in the room. Crash Bro, he got the people of the world, the people of the world, basically policing other people, pulling them out of cars and doing extra dumb shit to say, you need to have on a mask. You're not following the guidelines. You people are fucking stupid, man. Dumb as hell. And, and this is what we be talking about, how they're going to use them, they're going to use them to basically use them to, to get at us and say, they don't wear, why ain't they got on masks? Or why ain't they? So Esau got the own people policing each other to, to get his shit underway, bro. Yeah, yeah. I forget why I heard this information before, but basically it was said, if you caught outside without protective masks and things like that during the pandemic, they can charge you with murder. Oh, I see. Ooh, I see they can that. charge you with murder. And now this was something that, this may just been something that somebody said to me. But it's within the realm of what Esau tries to do, because Esau creates these unjust, these unrighteous decrees, okay, these draconian laws. And if it really gets deemed uh, through society, if he if he creates this atmosphere where, oh man, you got to do it because it's a public health risk, and you, they're already doing the fines. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, oh man, you trying to kill somebody. It's the same thing as having AIDS and going out to spread. So what's the point? So what was the point of them releasing all those inmates? What was they releasing all them inmates for? To free of the jails to put people that the fat law? <laughs> because, because you said you was releasing, releasing them because the coronavirus, but then you gonna block people up for the coronavirus? Yeah, they said they was. They said the people that they released supposedly was non-violent offenders. So if you get deemed as, if they, you know, do that, you get that's gonna be like murder. That's gonna be it's gonna be created to where that's like murder. You ain't wearing no mask. But I'm speaking as a man when I say this. You know what I'm saying? But it's not outside the realm of what Esau would do. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's all. He's starting with a fine. That wasn't surprising. Hey, come on, man. Because you're not complying. You're not complying. And, and it's a pandemic. 
and it's serious, and we quarantine, whatever the case might be, man. Done. Whatever the case might be. Yeah, because, hey, uh, just a quick precept, because Esau is doing the same thing that he did in, in 70 AD, man. He's, he's cutting off, just like the boy was saying earlier, he's cutting off the supply to everything. In order to get what you need, you have to go to him, right? He wants complete and total control, right? He wants to be like the Most High who has complete and total control, yeah. right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. It says, uh, so like in verse, uh, in verse 55, it says, So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Right? So basically, you know, people are going to start, they're going to resort to cannibalism because they can't get food. They can't get water, right? So they're going to eat their own children, man. Right? Now, this is talking about the siege in 70 AD, okay, when uh, the Romans seized Jerusalem, right? And then, and then we fled from Jerusalem. But this is going to happen here, right? Which is the, the modern day Rome, man. Right? This is going to happen here. Esau is doing the same thing he's always done, man. You know, the Lord gave us the script and we can see the patterns, man. Right, right, and and, and that's when, when we talk about the, the how Esau is breaking the food uh, supply chain down, right? How he, he's killing the farming industry, bro. That's how he's gonna do it. And, and then on top of that, he's starting a uh, uh, Tyson is the, the top. Uh, chicken. Yeah. Tyson is one of the top uh, chicken uh, producers or whatnot, right? Yeah. And, and what did they what did they just invest in in like 2016 or, or a few years back? They invested in into uh, growing lab meat, bro. Grown land me. Why would they invest into that? Why would you do that? Because this is what they want to push. They want to be able to market the foods and things like that. They have that total control. Yeah. And it's going to be one of those things that if you don't buy it from me, you ain't getting shit. Or you don't get the chip, you're not getting anything. Yeah. yeah. That whole clean, that whole thing they call, I think they call it clean meat. I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, I think they call it clean meat when they make it in the lab with the cells because it's not the same process. It's grown in a uh, sterile environment, so to speak. You know, yeah, so to speak, you know, because, hey, they even say animals can get the corona. So it ain't nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump to say, well, chickens can get it too. Beef cows can get it too. But that's a God, that, that's, cause, because they got a God complex, bro. You got a God complex, bro, to want to be able to control, control people's thoughts or, or listen to their thoughts, right? You want to be able to create, create your own food. Stuff, so yeah, but, you want to be able to create your own food. You want to be able to control the weather. Now, that's a God complex, bro. And, and, and there's many more we, we, we can go on, bro. Many more. Joe Favre's... Joe Favre's well. <laughs> he, dis he, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. You see, because this whole new world agenda, which Esau thinks he's going to uh, uh, fulfill or finish, he's not going to be able to. I mean, he's going to go a hell of a way. You know, he's going to get, he's going to get, like, he's going to be doing shit. You know what I'm saying? But the elect, bro, we not getting shit, bro. We not, the elect is not going to get shit. You yeah. see, Esau going to be putting in work, man. Hey, but he's not going to finish the sloggy, bro. He's not going to finish it, bro. He's not going to finish it, bro. He's not going to be able to take over the whole world and check the elect and be able to keep running and Yahweh Shine come back. Nah, oh, hell no. But in his mind, he thinks he is. Yeah, he thinks, hey, he saw uh, the, 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 the inward thought is that the house shall continue on forever, man. Right? So, hey. And he see he sees his kingdom going down. So he's waiting to he's waiting to the last minute to try to set everything up, right? To to enjoy his little five seconds of uh, new world order, mm -hmm. right? But just as the scriptures say, when he, he uh, um, he's going to be in straits as he's eating, man. Right. <laughs> Job twenty verse. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay. Job twenty verse twenty two. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Yeah. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah, as he's about to fill his belly, so he's about to finish his meal. He's been eating slowly, getting, getting everything prepared. 
He is going to accomplish this. He's going to kill a certain number of the men of the Lord. He's going to establish his market of peace. Right while he's about to get his new world order. That's it, man. The missile's going to come down and fuck his ass up. Yeah, man. Yahweh Shah is going to come to, to, to uh, take over. Right, and, it, and every hand of the wicked, that word wicked really goes into uh, the workers. Okay? Those that reap down the fields, man. You know? And you get the um, one where they're going to try to hide. They should run into the mountains, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I got this right. It says, verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. So he's going to be trying to flee. He's going to be trying to run from the iron weapon, which we know that those are the missiles, bro. But this missile says what? It's, it's the, it shall strike him through. Right? Amos, uh, yeah. Yeah. Amos 9. And uh, one, I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. It's like, no. uh, though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. That's not what you're doing. So they hide, yeah, though they climb into heaven, this will I bring them down. Though they hide themselves in the top of the tunnel, I will try to take them down. It's not, it's not what you do. It's all good. I got this one. Revelation 6, verse 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Uh, verse 16, it says, And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us. And hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. So they're going to be trying to hide from the Lord when he returns, bro. Because they know. Bro, they, they don't know the scriptures and the mysteries of how we know the scriptures. But they know well enough that, bro, the Lord. But they know, what, they know well enough that the Lord is coming back with vengeance, bro. They know he's coming back to reap the, uh, pour out destruction upon this earth. You got a precept? Yeah. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Read loud, bro. Jer this is Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Because they have defiled my, my land, they have filled my inheritance with car cases of their destable and abominable things. God, God. So right now, okay, we are here fishing for, for the elect, okay? But if we be of those men, and whoever the elect are, they're going to be turned into hunters, okay, when that time comes. And they're going to hunt down the two-thirds and also going to hunt down the elites of Esau Edom, okay? And kill the two-thirds and then put the elites in the captivity, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Straight like that. I got one. I got one. Uh, it's the book of Amos. And I think it probably was further down too, but it's crazy. Uh, oh, see now that okay. So now that <laughs> this is the one for you that you should have got now. Now, oh, now uh, no, Amos nine verse two. It says, "Though they dig into hell." Then shall my hand shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, thence I will bring them down. But, yeah, that's the one I had read. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Though they dig into hell, but though they dig down underground, because hell is uh is synonymous with the pit, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 the grave, yeah. which is a hole that you dig into the ground. It's a big pit. So though they dig underground, the Lord's hand is gonna find them, okay? The elect is gonna hunt them down. And though they climb up to the heavens, you know they got space stations, they climb up to the top of the mountain, whatever they wanna do. Float around in the sky if you want to. Hey, you're gonna be brought down, man. You're gonna be put into captivity. Man. And those great foods they bargain you got, bro. You're gonna put the spread in the middle of it. Go right through that. So fucking easy, bro. Like, I mean, bro, I mean, all that work you put in, it's gonna be nothing, man. Right? Mm -hmm. All that work you put in. Hey, bro, no bunkers is lavish, man. No bunkers they got? Man, you can really live there. You can, like, live there forever, like, and never have to come up. Huh? Like, the way they got that shit set up. Hey, yo, they show you on certain movies and shit. 
I even got uh, Mondo Water from this yeah. too, man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think they said, uh, uh, where is that in Detroit somewhere? Or? I forget where it is, but somewhere there's like underneath this airport, they got like almost the size of an underground city. That Denver, right? That's the Denver, Denver airport. Yeah, the Denver yeah. airport, yeah. Yeah. Um, it says, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Right, hey, so the Lord is going to put the spirit on you to go to the other place, man. So you can't hide from the Lord. The Lord is going to find you either way. Right, and for those, those uh, Edomites, you know, you're going to uh, have those, uh, Underwater bunkers, man, he gonna get the body thing to get you. Yeah. you know, yep. So there ain't no escape. Yep. The ones of y'all that's gonna be trying to run on the Navy, Navy ships or submarines, the bad thing gonna be playing with y'all like a, a cat playing with mouth, like with mice, man. You know, chew right through that. Chew, chew right through it, bro. What, you, just, you know how a beer just, like how a beer would just do this to somebody, bro, rip, rip, rip the damn floor off. Yep. That's how the bad thing would do this. Yep. <laughs> the breaking heads, man. When this damn damn nail claws might just slice through that damn thing, man. Hey, I mean, damn, I ain't gonna it. Yeah, man. So, hey, the Lord, the Lord's gonna have a, a, a you know, these are gonna get the, the, these elites are gonna get taken down either way, man. So they can hide. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah. <laughs> and it's already prophesied, bro. Where, where you going, man? That's right. It's already prophesied, bro. We 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 got that servants <laughs> in the kingdom, man. Yep. See, Jake don't want. Boy, oh, man, we all our people are through, man. Jake, Jake, be talking. Jake, right, bro? Jake has no kingship mentality, bro. No. Man. Jake be talking about they don't want slaves. What, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, Jake, what Josh are you talking Ryan. about, Jake? But so hold on. And this is how people are mad at our people. So you want someone to bring when y'all go out to eat? You want people to bring y'all dinner and shit? You don't want that on a regular basis. <laughs> right. Y'all go places to get massages. You don't want that on a regular basis. I mean, if, if that's what you wanted. Yeah, or, or, and not work. I, Cause Jake like working, bro. Jake loves to. Work, bro, I hate working, bro. Yeah, Israel, a homeboy <laughs> slave. <laughs> Somebody get that, bro. Uh, Isaiah two. Is that Isaiah two and fourteen? They like working, bro. Like what the? F and Jake, Jake, man, Jake, so been so warped by this, this world, man, this place, man, by Esau's wine, man, that they don't even want what's right, man. The scriptures tell us, happy shall he be. Yes. That, that shall recompense thee as you have done unto us, man. So it's going to be a great thing. I can't, for me personally, I can't wait to remember everything that every Edomite ever did to me and get that nigga back. That I ain't, can't wait. That ain't right. Bro, I, man, that's God, right. God wouldn't allow that. Hey, right? man, the Lord said, <laughs> forgive thy enemies of the nation. Perfect example. Mm -hmm. David and Saul. Mm -hmm. That was loving thy neighbor and forgiving thy, thy enemy, man. Yep. Hey, but also when it came to the, uh, to the Canaanites, he said, kill all them niggas. Mm -hmm. So what's that? What's that go into? That, well, is that their neighbor? No, there was some damn heathens, man. <laughs> right. All right? And so even the Most High reserved these damn Edomites to de destruction. Like it tells us in, uh, in Romans 9, man. Okay? He's enduring the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction, man. Okay? They fitted for destruction. So how you don't want the same thing the Lord done already predestined them for? You're supposed to want what the Lord wants. Do not I hate them that hate thee, O oh Lord? Right. You see? So, yeah, man. I can't wait. To these damn slumlord ass landlords, to they ass be living in the in the depths of the dirtiest crack of the back that you can find. Yeah. Proverbs 16 verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Oh, even the wicked for the day of evil. So he made them to be wicked, and he reserving them unto judgment. You know? Because yeah. hey man, in the, in the story, bro, the superhero always wins. Always. And the villain always loses. Yeah. Esau's gonna lose because the Lord wanted him to lose. Yeah. Even, even though it looked like he won it, right? He's really losing, bro. Because yeah, we losing. already got the victory, bro. We yeah. won already. Hey, man, the Lord likes the underdogs, man. <laughs> the people you don't, you expect to, to, to get the power, man. The meat, the, the meat show inherit the earth. Yeah, the meat show inherit the earth, man. Yaiqua, man. That's right. Right? So, uh, so to, he's, he's gonna, it's gonna, uh, Israel's gonna take uh, the world by surprise. That's right. And see the difference between, because in the movie they show you 
the good guy, but they really twisted it up, and he really he has a, a mentality where it's really not according to the scriptures. You want to save everybody. Like, look at Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you want to save everybody. No, the real, man. The real hero was the villain. The real yeah. hero was the villain. Yeah, and it's so funny, But they bro. make you hate him. Go ahead. Because that was a good movie, bro. But that shit pissed me the yeah, fuck off, yeah. man. He, wanted to, he made, made that cool, man. But he played that cool ass. But I was swole for real. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay. He's 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 you go that bullshit, shit, everybody. Bro. Yeah, you know, and, and so at the end of the day, man, they, they, it's a twisted mentality and all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, everybody's not rooting for this good guy. Right. Everybody hates Jake, the men, the men that do righteousness, okay? It says, uh, abstaining from evil, you make thyself a prey, roughly paraphrasing. What, what, what's his name? What, what was that dude's name? The, the villain? Uh, his name was, uh, oh. Somebody pull his name? What, what dude the was that? was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was like, oh, Warmonger, yeah, Warmonger, yeah, Warmonger. Yeah. Hey, bro, he wanted what was rightfully Killmonger. Killmonger, yeah, Killmonger. that's the name. He wanted what was rightfully his, bro, and we want what is rightfully ours. That's and I'm gonna right. read it, bro, because this, 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 everything you see, this. this. And he wanted to help his people. Uh huh. His he wanted people. To, he wanted revenge for all the stuff that they did to his people over here and in he America. He wanted to give right? his people power to take that revenge. Here uh-huh. is the faith and the patience of the, of the saints. saints. That's right. Shit, we want the same thing. Hey, bro, Esau got to get destroyed, bro. Esau got to get everything that's coming to him. Right. Every every last bit of it, bro. That's right. You, you, I mean, because when we talk about how our ancestors got slaughtered over here in, in America, some of you damn ignorant ass niggas, some of you, uh, thousand yard, give me, um, uh, uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Because when we talk about stuff like that, right? ignorant ass Negroes that think they African oh, I mean you know that was fucked up with what they did but I, that wasn't my people bro a lot of y'all that's walking around in America a lot of y'all are Reuben a lot of y'all are Gant a lot of y'all are not even from Judah but y'all simple ass right read that real quick bro it's Hosea 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge mm-hmm. because thou hast rejected knowledge I, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High, I will also forget thy children. Right, so we can put that as the whole nation, but that was starting with talking about the priests. You Levites, man. Because you were supposed to teach our people the way. Now look at Levi. Look, what is Levi doing now over there in, a, uh, they call that land? Uh, Haiti. Haiti. Right? And what Simeon right next to their brother, doing all that damn voodoo and witchcraft, all that madness. But then they talk about, you know, what they, what they say, the, uh, the, the Haitian Revolution, the independence. Yeah, and what? Y'all still in captivity. And if, and, if, and, and if Esau really wanted to come take control, he could come, come do it. Yeah, yeah. Especially now, his fierce military, go ahead, come bomb y'all. Hey, and being on top of that, look at the uh, look at the poverty over there. Exactly. So what cost did you pay for, 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 uh, for, for gaining your quote-unquote independence? Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas ain't getting shit. He cut off y'all whole supply route. And, and, Lord, if you jacking y'all up, bro. Them, uh, them, them, uh, what is it? Them hurricanes and shit that the Lord been sending over to y'all priests? Mm. 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 You see? Because y'all fucked up too, man. And then they worship, bro. Uh, what's that? What's that do? Uh, what's that? Holly? No, that's Benjamin. Two sons? No, that's Benjamin. Holly, Holly, Celeste. That's, that's, that's the name. That's Benjamin. But still, bro, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You see? And, 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 and they're really destroyed the lack of knowledge of these, whole, of these scriptures, bro. This is the true wisdom knowledge that our people should have, bro. But our people don't want that. They don't want to drink out of their own cistern. They want to drink out of the cistern that Esau did. You right. see? Because these same ignorant-ass people on this side say, Oh, that's the white man's book. Everything you fucking learned was from the white man's book. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> All the curriculums and everything from school was from the white man's book. Y'all ain't throw that shit away. No, they're still, they're still clinging to it. Still clinging white to it. White man's media, white man's science, supposedly so called. Yeah, pseudoscience. I mean, you come see? on, bro. It's, it's, DNA. It's dead. It's all <laughs> through right. as hell. Through as hell. Through but as but this is the bro. white man's book. Come on, man. Y'all gotta come with a. That's why y'all gonna destroy it for a lack of knowledge, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we breaking it down to you. We telling you the truth of the scripture. Uh, that's the white man's book. Uh, okay. See, and this is the ultimate so-called black person, Latino and Native American empowerment yeah. book. Mm-hmm. But they reject that. They reject that. But it's all, it's all what the most I got set up for you. You know what I'm saying? This is the best This is the best news you could ever hear, man. Hey. This is the good news. You hey. mean to tell me we're going to be in rulership. 
all this shit gonna end. We're gonna quit having to worry about is we gonna die today? Is we gonna eat today? Is, is this water poisoning? Do we got fluoride in it or is it fluoride? You gonna have to quit worrying about all that and yeah, you would rather cling to this place. Yeah, you, you, we ain't got no peace in this place, man. No. We ain't got no peace. No peace. Right. And this, this is the mentality of, of Jake here. Uh -huh. This is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? He fucking act like it. <laughs> Why is he spoiled? Right, yeah, so hey, just like the bro brother saying, man, Jake, Jake liked to work, man. They have a slave mentality, right? They're, they're, like, like they're, they're born into slavery, man. But we, we don't, we, uh, coming into this truth, we, we put off that slave mentality, man. We don't want to be slaves, right? We want to be kings, right? Yeah. We want to have rulership. Right, we, we want our women to be princesses. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We want our, we want our children to, to, to have a royal mentality, uh, a sense of royal mentality, too. But it's almost like you can't because it's, it's the ways of the world is influencing them, influencing them. The TV and the media is influencing them. Schools is uh, influencing them. You know. Yep. So I mean, you could do what you could, you know. But yeah. it's, it's the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Right? But the ways of the wicked have to do something. And then it also tells us that it's going to be such a great deception on the earth that if it were possible, even the very elect should be deceived. Yep. You know, and he working full time, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to really fight back anger from going in because we just got through talking to some damn Edomites. They trying to put people back to sleep, man. Yeah. What do you mean? You saying you got to keep the commandments, but you're disannulling Jesus Christ. Man, get the fuck out of here, dude. It said you're going to be conformed to the image of the Messiah. The, the Messiah kept the law. Right, right bro. Well, you're right. trying to keep the law, man. Get, the, get out of here. Go right. away. And he kept the laws perfect. Perfect. It also says uh, uh, that we might have a body, uh, body like unto you know, His glorious body, right? Uh -huh. Right. And those bodies, you ain't gonna go off. So what? So I mean, how was I was born, right? If the law, law was done away with when he was born, ain't that what they said, right? Well, <laughs> when he was born, what happened to eighth day? He got circumcised. circumcised. Uh huh. Hey man, he, he said he said he, the, he was made under the law. Made, made under, under the, the law. Yep. 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 I did it. Yep. His, his, his I did mom it. went into uh, her separation time. That's why like she, she didn't go to the temple. To. Yep. And also, um, he said that, that the, the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, that whatsoever they bid you, that observe and do, but do not after their ways. Okay? So what does that mean, sitting in Moses' seat? The law of Moses. The Pharisees were doctors of the law. They were, they were learned in the law. Just like Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. Okay? But his, his righteousness was not of the law. But that don't mean you throw it away. It's clearly there, man. But you Christians want us to go back to bed, yeah, yeah. shave our beards, eat pork. Uh -huh. oh, the, oh, the brother, you, you still got that, 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 that Ezekiel, don't you? Yeah, I still got that. That's why, see? It's all about to come around with that. Um, Galatians 4, verse 4, let's back the brothers up. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. What does that mean? Ooh, ooh, to redeem them that were made of the law. Who made of the law? The Israelites. The Israelites. The Israelites. It talks about those that have made a covenant with me by blood, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, about yeah, the Israelites. Yeah. Sacrifice, Sacrifice by, by blood. Sacrifice by blood, yeah. That we might receive the adoption of sons, bro. The only people that's adopted back to the Lord are the Israelites. Because we got canceled away. You see, but we didn't get canceled away to the point that the Lord was never going to deal with, deal with us again. No. Mm -hmm. Because he made a promise, to, he made a, uh, a, yeah, a covenant, made a covenant to, uh, to Abraham. Abraham. Yep. Yeah, and his covenant, his covenant to Abraham goes past the law. Yep. You know? Yep. In Hebrews 6, it tells you about the uh, the immutability of his counsel. Okay? Meaning the unchangeableness. The scriptures even say there's no variableness, variableness nor shadow of turning with the Most High. Okay? I, the Most High, what does it say? I change not? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't Therefore, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Why does it say that? Because he promised that he was going to give Jacob the inheritance. He promised that he was going to make them at the sand of the sea and get them the land of Israel. Therefore, he I don't change. Therefore, I ain't going to completely kill all of y'all. Because I got to keep my promise. And I ain't changing on that. This is A. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Right? So the Lord is not gonna he's not gonna completely cast away his people. Right? 
He said he uh, 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 saving that will not utterly destroy, uh, uh, utterly uh, destroy uh, Jacob. You know, so the Lord has a remnant. You know, I got one. Genesis 12 verse 7, and the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto thy seed will I give this land and there and there built he an altar to the Lord who appeared to him. See? So what's that land? That's the, that's the land of Israel, bro. That's still our land to this day. You see, to Abram's seed, bro. And we know the seed is coming for the promise. So it went to Abraham, to Isaac, and Isaac to Jacob. Right? So the Lord loved everybody. He was dealing with everybody. Why would he skip over uh, Abraham's son Ishmael? Why would he just skip over? Oh, well, hold on. Abraham had six sons. But usually what? The firstborn gets the, uh, gets the, the inheritance. inheritance. Uh, what, Ishmael was the firstborn, right? Yeah, Ishmael. Ishmael didn't... Because the, uh, the seed is kind of a promise. The promises didn't go to Ishmael. You see? The promises didn't go to the, 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 the other children. Right? Then the promises didn't even go to Esau. It was Isaac's firstborn. It went to Jacob. Mm -hmm. You see? Because this is the Lord's movie. He set it up a, a particular way of how he wanted to do things. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it just says Jacob was the youngest, I believe, wasn't it Isaac who was also the youngest of his children? Of uh, Abraham's children. Mm -hmm. We'll look to that. Yeah. But he wasn't, he wasn't he the first boy. No, hell no. He Ishmael wasn't was. the first. Ishmael was, but I believe Isaac came right after that. Because he didn't have more children until he married, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Isaac uh, was second. Yeah, yeah Isaac was second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was, yeah, that's why I talked, that's why I gave the analogies in the New Testament. About the, the bond, mm -hmm. the, the children of the child of the bond woman and the child of the free. Right. Okay. It goes into uh, Hagar and Ishmael and, uh, and uh, Rebecca and uh, oh wait, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Salaki, Sarah and, uh, and Isaac. I got one. Read that. Uh, Hebrews 11, verse 17. By faith, Abraham, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Uh, accounting that the Most High was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from which also he received him in a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning the things to come. So they both had different blessings, right? Uh, Esau was given what? The fatness of the earth. And uh, he was given the sword, man. Which he lives back carnally today. That's how he yeah. operates. Yeah, that's why you can't defeat him, man, because the Lord gave him that sword, man. He's the whooping stick of the Most High, man. You can't make war with him until the Most High ordained it, man. You know, so you're going to lose. Anybody go against Esau, Edom, so-called white man, hey, you ready to die. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you committed suicide. And, hey, bro, there ain't no other better way you can say it, bro. You're going to get Esau's blessing, bro. You committed suicide, bro. How you going to win, bro, when someone, that's his talent? Well, that's just like... That's, hey, what, just, just, that's what he's about, man. He's about death and destruction. So, this, hey, man, the sword is his blessing. Just, just like you know, even if you try to give a good shot, just like how Conor McGregor went in there and fought uh, Mayweather. But you thought you was gonna go in there and fight Mayweather at his own game with his what eight months? Oh hell no, bro. That's why he's out yeah, you, you ain't been in the gym one day talking about come on, come on, Jordan. I'm about the one on one. I'm gonna get trounced. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, man. Uh, so, all right, this is the one I want. Uh, Sirach 44, verse 21. The book of Sirach 44, 44, verse 21. It says, Therefore he assured him by an oath that he will bless the nations. No, well, I'll start at 19 to get the point. Abraham was a great father of many people, and glory was there none like unto him who kept the law of the Most High and was in a covenant with him. He established a covenant in his flesh, and when he was when he was proved, Salakia, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, he assured him by an oath that he will bless the nations in his seed, and that he will multiply him as the dust of the earth, and exalt his seed as the stars, and cause them to inherit from sea to sea, and from the river to the uttermost part of the land. By an oath that he would do this. With Isaac, with Isaac, did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake, 
the blessing of all men and the covenant and made it rest upon the head of Jacob. He acknowledged him and his blessing and gave him an heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes that he partnered. Cut! Cut, cut. Cut to you other nations. You can't get in. You can't get in, man. You cannot get hey, in. He wanted, hey, he mad, still mad that he lost his birthright, mm -hmm. which was never in, was never really for him in the first place. And now he just he just doing everything he can to include himself back in and let everybody else. In. Well, if I can't have it, everybody, come on. We're going to try to take it away. That's why, it's, <laughs> that's why they consented together with one consent. Yep. Wait a minute, man. These people still alive? Look what we, 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 we make working these fools. What is going on? Why they ain't dead yet? You know what? It's that damn blessing in the Bible. We got to do something about this. And they got together and they started plotting from then on how they can poison us, uh, 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 brainwash us with this bull crap, indoctrinate us in all this wickedness. But the Lord said he got a remnant, man. Yep, yep, a complete number of men that have not bowed the knee to the all. You see? So, hey, so we pray we build those men, man. You okay. know? I got one for you. You got one done, y'all? I got one for you. The book of Isaiah 1 verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto a very small remnant. Salakia. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Uh, yep, so hey, <laughs> and what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? They were completely destroyed. You see? They were completely destroyed. So if there was not a remnant, you know what I'm saying, then we would be through. But the Lord said he was going to keep his promise. Okay, he swore by himself. He can't break that. He put his name up. He put his name very high, man. The Most High is the ultimate man of his word. Okay? So since he put that on himself, he swore by himself, for he could swear by none greater. Okay? He's going to keep that. His word is bond, man. Yep. Ultimate bond. Yep. Gold bond. What, what the scripture says, uh, 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 says basically that not a man that he should lie. Not Let's a man that he should lie. You go for okay, yeah. Bring, yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or the son of man that he should repent. So why would he turn away from that? He's gonna keep it, man. Go ahead. <clears throat> Romans 11 verse 4. But what said the answer of the Most High to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed to the knee of the image of by all. Even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Right, right, and, they, and it said that's what the, that's what he asked the Most High concerning Israel, mm -hmm. you see? So even now, there's that same election according to the spirit of grace. The same complete number of men that he's reserving, okay, that have not bowed their knee to, the, to, uh, to, to Baal, man. They're not gonna bow down to this beast system and not worship the beast and not take the mark of the beast, man. Yep. Namely the 144,000 and the one third, sure. you know? Guys, this is Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Uh, the Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Hath he said, then shall he not do it? Hath he spoken, then shall he not make it good? Mm. Right? So the Lord's going to do what he said he's going to do, man. Right? Yeah, so what y'all say, the, 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 the words of the Lord ain't good? Oh, because it don't fit you, it ain't good. No, bro. No, motherfucker. No. Cool. No, yeah. oh, bro, because they mad. At, they really mad at the Lord because the words ain't good. It's not. It's not the uh, gospel to them that they want to hear. Because gospel means good news. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 these scriptures are beautiful. It has good news in it for us. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't good news when we went through slavery. Nope. But we had to go through it. That's right. People, people like, oh, y'all just where y'all at? Y'all, y'all just wanna, y'all just wanna take the ball for y'all. Nigga, do you know what we went through as a nation? What well, we continuously had to go through for us fucking up and turning our back on the Lord. <laughs> right. Y'all don't want to go through that. Nope. Yup, but they want the kingdom, but they don't want to go through all the things that we had to go through to get to the kingdom too. Right. Right. And see, there had to be that that uh, that, that time of uh, being trodden down and all those things that happened for there be for there to be a recompense. Mm -hmm. He said it's gonna. Be, he said it about. The, he talked about the controversy of, of Zion. Mm -hmm. Okay. The recompensing unto these other nations. So there had to be the controversy. For the recompense to come, right? You know, that's hey man, that's the balance, man. Right? We're here in this in this wicked kingdom, trying under the uh, under the foot of these other nations, man. Right? We're gonna we're gonna know we're, we're experiencing wickedness now, but in the kingdom we're gonna experience righteousness. 
right? The Lord, uh, false balance is abomination oh, no, yeah. to the Lord, man. The book of Romans 3, verse 4, for the most half. Oh, oh I got to start at 3. I'm oh, true. Alright, so Romans 3, verse 3, it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yet let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. So you're a liar when you when you other nations try to put yourselves in here and try to say that uh, the, the, book, the Bible belongs to y'all and y'all can be joined them with the Israelites. No, you're a liar, bro. It says let the Most High or let the God be true, and every man a liar. Y'all are lying on the scriptures, bro. Put just put yourselves in there, bro. No, man. We, and we always talk about when we speak about the Gentiles, man. The Gentiles that are speaking of are Israelites, man. Israelites that conform to uh, a, a Gentile way of life. Mm -hmm. See? So I'll read in verse 4 again. It says, let uh, the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a life, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. You see? So, hey, man, you know, let the most high be true, let everybody be a liar. That's right. Okay, so the most high is truth, like the brother was going into about the oath that the Lord made. How the Lord's not gonna go back on his word. No. Oh. So y'all hey, what's that? That's the book of uh, uh Reve Revelation the twenty second chapter chapter. Y'all add into the book. That's something oh y'all ain't reading it right, y'all add into the book, y'all y'all breaking it down the wrong. No, y'all add into the book. <laughs> Tell me all all nations can make it. No, hell no. Y'all no. will be in the kingdom with us. Yeah, but, but doing what? Y'all not explaining that though. But doing what? Hey, you see, you make the you make the Lord a liar because the scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. Right. So you're gonna have to manifest in the Old Testament where heathens was brought in and heathens was, you know what I'm saying, saved so to speak, and put in the position of power to come be a judge for Israel and you know what I'm saying? The Lord came down and dealt with them and you got to show me that, man. There was only what in one, maybe two. There was a one that was allowed to see uh the one who what was it? Baylor, Baylor, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the vision, the dream or the something dream, like that? The vision, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my bad, it's Balaam. Balaam, Balaam, yeah, yeah. Balaam, Balaam, yeah, that's right, that's right. And I so, think in the one shorty, uh, the, 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 the let us go in the spies, and she got us a battery, what was her name? Uh, uh Rah, 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 Rahab, 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 yeah, 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 Rahab, the heart. But you know what I'm saying, other than that, man, you got to show me, like, we're on a mass scale, because y'all making it like y'all could be the elect. Do all these other things. No, the most I can use who he want to use. Okay, and have in the mercy and, and there's gonna be mercy showed unto you if you keep the commandments after that thousand years of captivity. But as far as coming in the in, in the inner fold and being the elect, man, that's out. Yeah. Where that's it. Where yeah. they do that at? Well, Edom, Edom's mercy is gonna be getting wiped off after they thousand. That's y'all mercy. Kind of, oh, yeah, we know they. That's y'all mercy. You other yeah. nations' mercy is. Ain't hey. gonna be so much, but y'all can get your own land. That's y'all mercy. Yeah, you're gonna you can dwell, hey, you're gonna dwell in peace as long as you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Exactly. As long as you're coming up and you being tributary, you'll be in peace. Yep. You know, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery. Right. Y'all got any of y'all got a precept over there? Y'all got a precept, precept? I right, bring this out there. All right. So, like I was saying, jumping back, right? That we want what's rightfully ours. See, and we want to rule the world in righteousness, which we will do. Which we will do. So, what you got? Well, go ahead, cause I'm already. Oh, go ahead. You're already there. That's okay. what I'm about to read. <laughs> that's that's weird. Weird. <laughs> yeah, this is Second Ezra chapter six, and I start at fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all. And the people. Well, people use that. people use that one all the time. Well, we all come from Adam. We all got the same blood on. That's what Edomite just said to us before Kim. <laughs> That's what he We're, said. We all come from Adam. I'm like, man, get up out of here, man. Right? It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Well, wait a minute. There's a chosen people that came out of Adam? That end up coming out of Adam's line? Yes, there is. But we need to identify who are those people. Right. It says, all these have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. Whose sakes? The chosen. God. It says, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing. Somebody get Isaiah 40. 40 and 15. Isaiah 40 and 15. But be like unto spittle, 
No damn fallen angels coming down having sex. The angels don't eat, they don't have sex, they don't shit, they don't do none of that. They don't need, and they don't have a need to. They're (laughs) angelic beings. Mm -hmm. It says, But uh, I read that again. And the Lord, and now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us Mm. and to devour us. Right, so hey, the, the, he, we're under the we're under the heathens right now, man. They're they're ruling with the uh, with the beast, man. You know, we we're, we we have to uh, we're, we're subjected under these under these other nations, man. Just like we have been in the past, we've been in other captivities. Read right? that part again. It says, and now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and devour and to devour us. There you go, bro. These heathen, man, right? Reputed as nothing, but now guess what? They're lords over us. They rule us. Right now we're under we're under their foot. You see? Our right, priesthood. Uh, you still got some more on that? Yeah, some more. I'll hit you with the priesthood real quick then. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Now who are the princes? That's us, bro. We're the princes of the Most High. What you think Yasha Allah means? Princes of the power, bro. But we're the princes of the power. So now everything is flipped upside down. It's, okay, so now you see the servants. You see a, a, a vision it like this. Everybody see the slave movie, right? So what you see? You see the master, or not the master, the dude he be having work in the field or whatever. He ran upon the horse, making sure everything cool. Or walk the overseer. The overseer. Or walking the slaves. It, it got reversed. And it's funny he mentioned slave movies because the scene that came to mind as he read that scripture was that scene out of Django where that coon on Candyland said, Look, what are that nigga doing on that nag? Yeah. Well, that was his proper place. And that damn Edomite should have been on the ground walking barefoot uh, through, looking like a caveman. Okay? Go ahead. All right, there's a little bit more in there. It says, uh, 59, it says, And if the world now be made for our sakes why do we not possess an inheritance with the world how long shall this endure i just want to know how long that was going to endure hold on so everybody everybody rolling everybody doing these different things we try another flight why are we in this desolate position 
you know? But we can tell you, we can tell you why we're living together. We can tell you why our people's diet is, is messed up. We can tell you why our women don't have, mostly the Judite women, but the women of our nation don't have no hair. We can tell you why the men, our, our men stand on street corners and gang bang and act like a bunch of thugs and run around killing each other. We can tell you all these things going back to the scriptures, bro. The curses, because we were disobedient to the Lord. That's why, why you see us going through all these things we're going through, bro. I mean, we, didn't we just tell you? Oh, why don't you go read the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter? See, cause that, that, that's milk. If you newly coming in, go read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. See if that don't fit your people. See if that don't, that don't fit your people. And also, all nations are going through the No, the hell they not, man. You see? It might and, be coming and, upon and, them now. And it's coming upon them now because it's, it's starting to switch. But the reason why Esau's going through what he's going through, right? Because first of all, so-called white man shouldn't even be working. Bro, this is his kingdom. This is his rulership. Right. He should not be working. None of them should be working, bro. Nope. But why are they working? Oh, they got to blame that. That's their people doing that. Yeah. That's the Egyptian versus the Egyptian. Yeah. The reason why so-called white people got to work and do everything they got to do is because the elites, as we talked about, that's going in and change, is holding them and oppressing them down. Because this, that, because he's a devil, bro. That's how he is. So he's not only oppressing us, he's oppressing our own people. Bro, won't nobody in our kingdom of our nation be oppressed, bro? Right. That shit is out. Yeah, what the scriptures say, uh, his seed is spoiled and his neighbors and his brethren and he is not. Well, the elites of Esau, they're not spoiled, you know, but they brethren and they neighbors and all them, they all through. They don't care nothing about them. The wicked being taken in there on the mice. That's a part of that as well, you know? Uh, Right, and then you, so you think when these alarms start going off for the for uh, when missiles being shot off, who's they both from? You think they're gonna have, get, have buses and planes and gather up all all Edomites come walking up? Well, hell yeah, no! Nah. Nah. <laughs> they leaving y'all stuck, bro. That's what we call y'all two-time losers, bro. Y'all y'all laugh at us. We we in this desolate position, but we about to overcome this. We our people about to be in glory in the kingdom. But you on the other hand, you a two-time loser because you lose it on this side. And you losing on the other. Yeah, yeah. These are Malachites. Look at y'all. It's Goyim as well. Yeah. Y'all got why I'm just like everybody else in their eyes. Yeah. Sure. Even though they they are part of that Gawaiyam too, man. Right. You know? Strangers and damn heathens. Right. Uh, I, somebody got the Isaiah 40. Where we got it? Read aloud. Isaiah 40 and 15. This is the book of Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a book, and as are and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very right, little thing. Alright, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the back. Verse 16. And Lebanon right is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast there are sufficient for a burnt offering. That's right. So they like a drop in the vessel, man. He take up the owls as a very little thing, man. All you heathens ain't nothing, man. You just like the small dust of the balance, okay? Just you're less than nothing to the most high, man. You don't even register on the scale. Like I said, you like in the abundance as a drop. One drop. What a drop gonna do? The drop evaporate quicker than a month, you know? So, I mean, it just shows you how little you guys are in his eyes. So how can y'all now say, oh, he let us in? Man, come on, man. Unto the wicked, the most I said, what is that to do to my statutes? You know, or that I should take in my judgments into that mouth. Rough paraphrase. Verse 17. Verse, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted are counted to him less than nothing. Less than, less than nothing in vanity. <laughs> so so if two thirds of the nation of Israel were are counted as vanity on this side, they're gonna die. The scripture said, let the multitude perish then that was born in vain. Mm -hmm. How much more are you heathens, man? Mm -hmm. You know? How much more are you heathens, man? So that's, that's going into Israel, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let the multitude perish. Because really, two-thirds on this side, they, they, they were born for nothing but to die. Yeah. To be fueled unto the fire. You know? But right. how much more are you heathens, man? Hey, these a lot of these two-thirds are the same people that said, uh, let his blood be upon us and our children. Uh -huh. There was them same people, bro. There was them same people that was attacking our forefathers, attacking us through the spirit, you know, as we if we was those men back then as the prophets. And the same people that said, hey man, let Barabbas go. 
Nah, man. And and then they they it, it was so bad how they wanted it. They like, cause Pilot asked them like, like basically, y'all serious? Like, are y'all serious? They was crying and shit. Like, man, you let Travis go, man, and off off him. Yeah. Like, bro, they they they, they wanted that bad, bro. That's why y'all people got y'all gotta y'all gotta, gotta pay for that. Y'all got to pay for that, bro. See, so even I, though it was already written when y'all was trying to go through, y'all still got paid for that. Though. Yeah, you was innocent. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yup, and and. and and even uh, Pilot, Pilot's wife knew. Yep. She said, yo, I'm having dreams about this man you do, you de let him alone. you're dealing with, man. <laughs> so even though Pilot's Pilot said, oh, I, I, I make I wash my hands. My hands. No, nigga. You still, you still had him, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you still put still the fire in You still a heater, man. Right. He ain't going to get no yeah. repentance, man. No, he's still, he's still a gonna get the, He's still, still going to get destroyed. Yep. Yeah. It didn't matter whether he did it or not. He was still going to get destroyed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, just, just saying with, uh, the one, what's his name? Was that Herod? When, when Paul was like, when he said, you almost persuaded me to be a Christian. Yeah. Like, what that mean? <laughs> <You're st> <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> you still going to slavery, man. Yeah, believe what you want to believe. Yeah, because Volcan trying to use that. Well, I mean, what does that mean? It didn't mean shit. It just said, Paul, talk, talk so good. You know, and she like, Paul, you know, we, get, we talk good game. Uh -huh. We just like, shit, you almost made me a believer. Yeah, but he didn't. Well, he's not a believer because he's an Edomite. Right. Yeah. And even even in the history where you see like little times where where Esau came and converted to uh, quote unquote Judaism, whatever you want to call it, started trying to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments, there still ain't no place of repentance for Esau. Yeah. And then they couldn't even they couldn't even do that. They somebody, had to make their own towel move. Somebody and, get yeah. that, bro. Yeah. That uh, you know where? Place of repentance. Okay. Uh, that's in uh, uh, Hebrews Hebrews twelve. Hebrews, yeah. Yeah. Hebrews twelve. Well, yeah. Go ahead, Daniel. You was about to make a good, very good point too. Yeah, so um, like yeah, man, like you know, even when they even when they did convert, try to convert over to our customs and our laws, they couldn't even do that. They had to make their own customs and laws. <laughs> yep. That's why you have the Talmud. And hey, if you read certain, uh, look into certain passages in the Talmud, they are completely opposite, completely contrary to the scriptures. Yep. Right in the Talmud, it says that. Your nationality is basically decided by your mother. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say your nationality is decided by your father. Right? So they made up their own stuff to fit them. Right? Because they're the wicked. What hast thou to do to clear my statutes and my judgments, man? Well, the book Isaiah 34 and 16 says, What? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Mm -hmm. And they so much as the devil, they, they created their own shit. Yep. But you know what? You, the Bible ain't good enough. So let's just make the Talmud. Hey, come on, man. Yeah. Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Man, how much you gotta think about it? How much you gotta really worship meat, uh, worship food, or whatever the case was? You know what I'm saying? To give up your whole birthright? Yeah. <laughs> I just let you know Esau is carnal, man. He's hella carnal. He'll worship anything, man. Yeah. He'll worship something in a heartbeat, you know? Because really, he really he valued filling his belly more than he did. What could have came along down the line, man? Yeah. You know, and that's a part of that instant gratification that Esau yeah, that Esau do. has. Because what? What does he push on the world? Instant gratification. So everyone has that instant gratification mindset. I need things to be done now. Things need to happen now, my way. You know, things like that. Or like brother always used microwave. The microwave. Was, was right. So the, the microwave way. You know. And that's how people operate around the world. They want things to happen fast and quickly. So, even with going now, flipping back to the strategy, even with because if you see right now, Esau's messing up connections. My connections oh, are yeah. horrible. Oh, yeah. So when they say, you know what, strategy make everything faster. Come on, bring that shit in. We can get now. It's my connectivity. It's slow as I don't know what. So the way Esau, like we say, he's subtle. He got so many different ways how he set it up where people wants this shit to happen. Please bring the solution. And we've been waiting for you to bring the solution. Just, 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 just do what you gotta do. Do it. Do whatever you gotta do to make the world normal again. Please. We want to go back to things normal. We want to go back to work. We want our kids to go to school. I want to go get my nails done. I want to go to the, the, the Chinese buffet. Is, 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 is Israel a homeborn slave? I want to go to the mall and buy some Jordans. You know what I'm saying? You have your father the devil, man. Right. And, and I'm, I'm looking like, my wife bought us some shoes. She said, you want to get these for me? I'm looking at the She said, you want to get these? 
Do you know what's going on right now? You talking some shoes? Right. Some shoes? I got shoes I'm probably not even going to wear because they this continue, bro. Where, where you going? No, I ain't going over. There's not point of buying nothing. You don't need to buy nothing. And then they already went to certain stores. Oh, well. Yeah, if there ain't no essential. food, it's not essential. You can't buy it. Yep. So hold on. If I if I need boxes, these so I can't get no boxes and socks? This is what you're doing now? Yeah, Burlington hella clothes now. I'm like, I thought clothes was essential. <laughs> I was trying to hit Burlington to give me a shirt. I'm Are like, they, now? they threw. I ain't Burlington seen them be open. Is Burlington open? I went up there, it was daytime hours, I didn't see no car. No car. So you gonna have to shop for your clothes at Walmart, then. Bro, you gonna have to shop online. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, or Walmart. And, and guess what? The, the generation of the sewers are basically out. Or what is that? Our grandmothers? They're almost done. They can't, they can't, they can't get it unless they really like doing it. But our women, the sewers is gone, bro. Mm -hmm. The sewers, because our, our, our mothers, let's see, our mothers. Our mothers, you might get a very few to sew. A very few. I'm talking about a low percentage. But after that, it's over. Sewing? Planting? Oh, it's over. Oh, even, even this generation's grandmothers be on some other Oh, shit. be on some other oh, oh, my. You might catch the sewers with the great grandma. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of them dead. A lot of them dead. <laughs> yeah. We speaking now. We, we, we speaking facts. We speaking facts, bro. Because, and, and that's a part of what Esau did. He made us dependent on him, so we don't. We don't have the, oh, we don't have the means, because he did it multiple different ways. We don't have the means to grow our own food, or the, 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 the yard to do it, or the, or, knowledge. Or to keep the knowledge, or to keep up with the, the supplies. We don't have all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? These mothers wake up, they got a, they got a whole three acres and a garden shed and everything for a damn tractor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, get, they got everything already set. And, so. and in a lot of places, it's illegal to grow uh, uh, fruits and vegetables in those Yard. Yeah, yard. It's illegal to collect rainwater, slot, bro. It's illegal to collect rainwater, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he wants to have total control of the earth, bro. In a minute, remember that uh, one thing I said, that article I sent you a few years back about breathing, the oxygen? The oxygen. Uh, I mean, well, we so already got it to the point where, what, we come into this world, we're born, I think we're, what, like 65000 in debt or something like that? 68, or something like that. So we already paying being born into the world in debt. So, I mean, it's good. I mean, at the end of the day, he, he's through. We got to get the hell about it. We need salvation. This is what we crying and complaining about. People say, oh, what they what they crying about and what they complaining about, what they so mad about. No. There's a million things to be mad about. Yeah. You see? There's a billion, there's a million things you can cry and complain about. You, you can't, if, if you can't think of 10 things right now that you can't cry and complain about you and say you don't need, I'll, I'll and say you don't need you salvation, there. You don't need salvation from it? You all too damn Hey, jacket season yeah. supposed to be over. Look, you must have got on jacket. It's cold. I had uh, damn ice droplets on my damn window the other morning. You yeah. Home. yeah. The plants ain't growing. Where all the daddy lines at, man? You having two glasses of wine, you sick? You got a headache? Like, what the? F <laughs> Come on, man. There's chlorine all in it. Oh, boy. Uh, fluoride and everything. You, they say it's purified. Still got fluoride and lead in it. You take a shower, you're supposed to be clean, but you're still itching when you get out. Still dirty. Come on. He saw like this. <laughs> Water all <on> hard. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on, Dude. man? Pharmaceutical, trace pharmaceuticals in your drinking water. <laughs> Come on, man. For real? And this is king, though. It's king, bro. Wow. We, we, we need salvation, bro. <laughs> We need, we need salvation, bro. We want new bodies, bro. We want righteousness to dwell on the earth, bro. You know? I'm ready to be like a robot, because that's how we're going to be. Well, how are we going to be like that? Well, Hebrews 8, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in our inward parts. So we it's already go, we just going to be, we're going to be programmed. You got it? What you got? I just got to uh, go to South Carolina, too. Oh, South Carolina. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Hebrews 12 and 17, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. And that's what he saw going on, bro. They 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 they, they, they seeking after this thing, or they saw it carefully, carefully with tears. You know, when we tell them that they can't and no repentance for them, bro. No, oh, bro, y'all can't y'all can't get y'all can't get in the mix with this. Oh. And they know it's true too, man. When they when you bring out the scriptures, they get cut and them demons start flaring up on them, man. And they like <laughs> happened earlier earlier before today. camp, man. We was going through the scriptures. We was like, look, man, this is it. This is here. This is the precept to it. There's a balance with the most high. Just cutting them with the word. And it, oh, you blasphemers. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're a blasphemer. Yeah, you threw Esau. You know that you're an Edomite. 
and you threw that demon on you, recognized it, man. Bro, yeah, and that, bro, it's 2020, bro. This, <clears throat> for you Israelites out there, man, bro, y'all still believing on the name Jesus, bro, man. You, man, you tripping, man. Because there's too much information out here to let you know the name, yeah. the name of the Lord ain't no Jesus, man. Like, come on, man. Well, but then, here you go. Here's the, here's the other one they use. Well, I don't think the name really matters. What are we talking about? The name does matter because when you read Acts, somebody in Acts 4, Acts 4 we'll, we'll see if the name don't matter. Uh, oh, Proverbs 18. It says, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, right? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous running into it, and it's safe. Roughly paraphrasing, you telling me that ain't important to know the name of the Lord? Man, you can't tell me that ain't important. Bro. That's the single most important thing that you could actually find coming into this truth. We gotta got call upon the Lord for salvation. I got a piece of Proverbs 30 and 4. Oh, yeah, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? So that just lets you know that it's not going to be readily given, okay? So when you when you go around and everybody's saying the name Jesus Christ, there's got to be more to it than that. The scriptures say, what's his name and what's his son's name, if you can tell? Mm -hmm. So that means it's got to be revealed unto you. The scriptures also say, I have manifested thy name unto the men that thou hast given me out of the world. So you're not going to know the name of the Most High. And likewise, the name of the Son, unless the Spirit has been put upon you to know it, bro. I, you, you believe in the Bible? Nah, he, he, he guess he's not interested. Yeah, I'm not he's not interested. Huh. All right, go ahead, you bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, 83 and 18. Bring it out, bro. This is the book of Psalms, 83 and 18. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, art the most high over all the earth. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful precept. A very beautiful precept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just use wisdom and nobody say that we'll handle this easy, easy way. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Read again. This is the book of Psalms 83 and 18. Uh huh. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, art the most high over all the earth. Right, right, right. Oh, there's another one where it says, I should pass my name down to generations of generations. <sighs> Or, or you should this is my name for uh, what you got uh, yeah this is my name forever yeah that, that's in Exodus uh, that, that's what you got yep yeah read the, read that read that spirit. Uh, that's in Exodus three three yeah three and thirteen because, get to that verse thirteen all right just because, get I think get the point get thirteen okay come reveals things even with the Hebrew language is very is very deep and uh, you know it goes into a lot you know, you know even the name Yahweh you know it's like he reveals 